I got a cool story to tell you guys. One day in my day job, I took a late lunch at a local Taco Bell. And around 3 o'clock or so, a group of kids showed up, about 6 or 7 of them, and they went straight to the back corner of the restaurant just chilling out. Now, they haven't ordered anything, not even a drink, not a meal, or something small from the dollar menu. For the past 15 minutes, the manager kind of noticed it and went up to them and told them that this is a place of business. If you're not going to buy anything, I'm going to have to ask you to leave. And so the kids, you know, they try to say, well, we're waiting for someone. And again, the manager is like, I understand that, but... And a little later, the kids, they were cool with it. They said sorry, and they said they'll wait outside the building if they have to. And the manager was even nice enough to say, well, if you want to, you could chill at the patio, since most of the customers tend to eat inside the building. You know, you're more than welcome to chill at the patio. This whole conversation took about less than a minute. <laughs> it was definitely less than a minute. And everything was cool. No cops were needed. There was no fight. No problem. And now we get this Starbucks bullshit that is just going way out of line here. That everyone wants to get their grubby little hands on it and complain about it. And make certain wham wham bullshit about it. And what great example than The View of all people. So let's check out The View and see what they have to say about it. A cell phone video caught what happened when their friend showed up. Take a look. Now, this is what bothers me about this particular video they're showing us. They're only showing us, like, the highlights of it. They're not really showing the whole seven-minute or so conversation the cops had with the guys. So this is way out of proportion to me. So there were a lot of white people in there who, you know, at the same time, who hadn't really ordered, ordered anything, but nobody arrested them. I mean, it's just, you, you don't want to leap to a racial thing. You yeah. just never want to. Mm -hmm. But how do you, how would you ask one not to leap to a racial thing? I've sat in Starbucks just hanging with friends who haven't gotten anything right away. Nobody rested. Well, it'd be hard to rest me because yeah. I'd be loud as hell. <laughs> <laughs> Typical. A lib going over the shit. And also, Whoopi, you're a celebrity. You have been in the entertainment world for decades. I'm pretty sure Starbucks wouldn't even think of kicking you out if you haven't ordered anything. In fact, they would be happy to see you there because you probably attract more customers if they see you outside the window. And they'll be like, oh shit, this is, this is our cash grab right here. We gotta keep her here as long as we can. But <laughs> But I don't know anybody who's gone into Starbucks who hasn't had a few minutes when they haven't ordered anything. And are you talking about the people who are still trying to figure out what they want and they're still looking at the menu, which you have to kind of tilt your head up to see? Because if the cashier saw that, you know, they're going to think, okay, this person is still thinking, give it a few minutes, eventually that person will come up and actually order something. And then you'll have people who actually did order something and they sit to the side and they're just waiting. They're waiting for the order to be handled. They paid. As long as the staff knows, everything is cool. It's the people who don't even come up, look at the menu, and they just immediately sit somewhere, and that's it. That's when the staff should get concerned and be like, what the fuck? They're not buying anything? This is bullshit. What is, what's happening? Use your head, for one thing, because when they, when they please get a phone call and they're on the scene, it is also their job to reasonably assess what's going on. Exactly, and that's what the cops did in Philly. They are, their job is to enforce the law, and since they see it as a loitering issue, you know, they had to handle it in a certain way. And on that video, which was like seven minutes long, they talked to them, and they tried to tell them themselves, like, dude, what you're doing is loitering. Could you at least, you know, buy something? You can't just refuse it. And then they start refusing to the cop. And it's like, okay, then come down to the station. They're enforcing the law, dude. Mm -hmm. So there was a double down on this where they said the police didn't do anything wrong. They were called. They came and did their job. I disagree on that. <laughs> when you mm -hmm. come and you say, what did they do wrong, and no one has a reason yeah. you do not arrest yeah. them yeah. but they were doing something wrong they were in a private business a business where they were expecting you to hand over money in exchange for their service they didn't do jack shit all they did was just sit their ass in a restaurant 
not doing anything, not even spending a fucking dime. And that is hurting the business. It's not like you can't just go in there and do whatever you want without paying. Because just fucking think about it. You go in there to use their bathroom, and then you just leave. Uh, where's the, how are they going to pay for the water bill? When you give them money and you get service, they use that money to pay off the bills. They pay their staff. And if you don't do that, eventually they're going to lose that restaurant if they're losing money. It's true. They, you they do were not wrong as well. Them. It was just a, a comedy of errors everywhere. And what I liked about the, what the Philly mayor said, he said, this incident appears to exemplify what racial discrimination looks like in 2018. And I said, yeah, that's exactly what it looks like. Mayor Jim Kenney is a fucking idiot. About two years ago, a Philly cop was ambushed by some lone guy who tried to kill him in the name of Islam. And when they brought him down to the station, the guy admitted that he did it in the name of Islam. He did it for he was an ISIS supporter. The police chief confirmed it. The commissioner confirmed it. And what did the mayor do? He basically said, don't listen to them. They're idiots. This is not in the name of Islam. It's all racist bullshit. This is, this is a criminal. Uh, with, a, with a stolen gun who tried to kill one of our officers has nothing to do with being a Muslim or following the Islamic faith. The exact quote that he used, I follow Allah, I pledge my allegiance to the Islamic State, and that's why I did what I did. Has nothing to do with being a Muslim or following the Islamic faith. I follow Allah, I pledge my allegiance to the Islamic State. And what does that mean? It, because, you know, they're no longer... Well, some places there are, but they're no longer lynching us out of trees. They're, they're, they're no longer able to do that sort of overt discrimination and racism, but they're able to kick us out of, of Starbucks for doing the same thing that every other person, non-person of color, is doing. <laughs> and that's what we talked about this on Friday. And I was saying, you know, this is the real life experience of mm -hmm. African Americans in this country. It's something that Whoopi and I, we mm -hmm. deal with it every single day. You lie! You lie! Bullshit! You guys deal with it every day? I call bullshit on that! Especially to Whoopi. She is a well-known celebrity! What kind of crap does she have to deal with because of her skin color? What do you have to deal with? Shut the fuck up! And, and I hate that this happened, but I am happy that it was caught on video and that we're talking about right. it. Because these indignities happen all the time when there isn't a video, and it is hard. Yeah. Wasn't it, it hard, really hard to see some white yeah. people sticking up? The allies are that's so important. important. Yeah. That's exactly. Yeah. You're not, you it's know? There were people that followed them outside that aren't on video saying, we knew we had to act fast. Yeah. And they, in a very civil way, said, please explain what just happened to us. Yeah. So yeah. the and fact I think, that it, but it they was rose important up. In this is like, this is real racism. This yes. is why when two black men are just sitting in a coffee shop and they're arrested for sitting there and not ordering coffee. They were loitering. They didn't buy anything. Obviously, if you don't buy anything, you get out. That is basically a store policy. To every store, to every restaurant, any place of business. If you don't give them money, they're going to ask you to leave. It's just that. Which I've done a million times. Sometimes you just use the Starbucks bathroom and leave. I call bullshit on you, lady. Mm -hmm. And I think that sometimes in the country we can get to a place where we're like, you know, so there's not a differentiation between real racism that's very easy to see. Well, and then... because real racism isn't always easy to see. Yeah. That's yeah. the problem. <laughs> I mean, yeah. this was, the, I think that's why it's hard, yeah. and because, because... Oh, yeah, because, oh, my God, blacks are getting discriminated against when it, that is not the fucking case! I, I mean, I talk about this a lot. Um, I have... Oh, my God, she's moving her arms around like Neon Fiona. What the hell, is she a fan of her? Two, uh, two, I have four ears. Then you are an alien, for real, not just a Star Trek version. Right, I have yes. two here and two here. Yes. Because I all, when, when people say things to me, yeah. I always have to make sure I'm hearing what they're actually saying. Yes. Are you the kind of person that believes that offense is always taken and never given? Are you that kind of a, uh, are you that kind of a retard? Now anyone talks to you, now you have to like, you really have to dig into what they're saying when it's just basic shit. You're overanalyzing what they're saying? This is fucking nuts. You shouldn't have to overanalyze everything people say. So, because sometimes people say stuff and you think, what 
what do I do with that? Because it sounds kind of funky and I'm not sure. Yeah. And, you know, this is a daily, uh, daily thing that, that I, I do still. I, 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 and this is why you're acting like this because you overanalyze shit. Your, your brain is about to. Uh, uh, with yeah. folks, and it's hard. And people always say, well, that's the race. It's not the race card. No. You have to be a minority to understand. What no, 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 don't applaud, don't applaud, because you, you don't know what I'm getting ready to say. Make sure you know what I'm saying before you appreciate it. <laughs> I think when you are, min uh, are a minority and you hear people say things, you have to struggle with making sure that you're not leaping to the wrong conclusion. Which is basically the main issue here. People will hear one thing and they immediately jump to it and that's the problem. Just like this whole Starbucks thing. They see two black guys get arrested and they immediately jump, oh shit, this is racism, there's racism going on. That's the fucking problem when racism is not the fucking issue. It's just two guys who didn't purchase anything for quite a long time and when asked to please buy something or leave and they said no, then the cops come in and they say, Please do what the manager says. Buy something to leave. And they said no to the cop. And that's, uh, that's the problem. Yeah. So it's very hard sometimes to, to surf navigate. it. I'm trying to go as fast as I can. Unfortunately, uh, it takes a little while to explain this. I, 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 I got two ears. I got to understand this kind of thing. It's like, you're fucking making things complicated, whoopee. Ugh. You know what? I'm just going to stop right here cuz this is whole this whole thing is nuts. Obviously they're like fuck white people. This whole thing's a racial issue. You can't go yeah. Uh You can't win. You can't deal with these guys. Now, I'm going to make another Starbucks related video in which we get to see the interview of the two suspects in question. <laughs>